To create complex and intricate structures, human engineers often make use of the principles of modularity and regularity. Regularity means that there exists some pattern to the way things are structured, such as the symmetry and repetition found in buildings. Modularity means that something consists of functional subunits, called modules, such as this piston. By making repeated use of modules, we introduce both modularity and regularity into the same system, and this is what allows us to create complex systems out of basic components. Nature also creates modules and makes repeated use of them, likewise creating systems that are both modular and regular. And not only the bodies of natural animals are regular and modular, natural brains show the principles of modularity and regularity as well. For example, the human neocortex can also be divided into different modules that perform different functions, and many of those modules are symmetrically replicated on both sides of the brain. The same is true for the structures inside the brain, which also contain functional subunits that are repeated on both sides. The functioning of the brain is largely determined by the properties of its neurons and how those neurons are connected. In our research we evolve artificial neural networks, whose functionality is likewise defined by their nodes, or neurons, and the connections between those neurons. When we evolve artificial neural networks to solve problems that are modular and regular, we want these networks to be modular and regular as well. However, despite the advantages of modularity and regularity, networks evolved with traditional evolutionary algorithms are often irregular and entangled meaning that we have to use some special techniques to encourage modularity and regularity to evolve. Recent research has shown that modularity can be evolved by adding an evolutionary cost for connections. Usually, when evolving artificial neural networks, connections are free. The network can use as many connections as it wants, as long as it solves the problem. Unfortunately, this often leads to highly entangled solutions. However, when networks have to pay some cost for each connection, they will reduce their number of connections, becoming more modular in the process. To encourage regularity, we make use of an indirect encoding, called hypernet. The classic approach is to use a direct encoding, in which every element in the genome encodes for a single feature of the network. This method leads to highly irregular networks. In an indirect encoding, the genome instead forms the basis of a developmental process, allowing for information to be reused resulting in more regular networks. For our research, we made use of the powerful Hypernet algorithm, which is highly effective at creating regular artificial neural networks. Now, it has already been shown separately that the connection cost leads to modularity and that Hypernet produces regular networks. However, in this research, we examined whether Hypernet plus a connection cost does indeed lead to regularity and modularity in the same neural network. We have tested this hypothesis on a modular problem, meaning that the problem can be decomposed into various subunits. Note that there also exist non-modular solutions to this problem. We have compared our algorithm against two other treatments. First, we tested regular hypernet on our problem, where connections are free. As expected, the resulting networks are regular, but non-modular. Second, we tested the direct encoding with the connection cost on our problem. Again, the results were not surprising. Resulting networks were modular, but non-regular. Lastly, we tested our main treatment, Hypernet with the connection cost. As hypothesized, our results show that these networks are both modular and regular. In a direct comparison, Hypernet with connection cost is significantly more modular than Hypernet without connection cost. In another direct comparison, Hypernet with a connection cost is significantly more regular than a direct encoding with connection cost. Lastly, Hypernet with a connection cost performs significantly better than Hypernet without a connection cost on our modular problem. With our research, we have shown how to evolve artificial neural networks that are both modular and regular, bringing them closer to the structurally organized brain. And that is likely an important step towards our goal of evolving truly intelligent machines.